Hi traders, today we're looking at the logistic regression support and resistance indicator from Flux Chart. This tool helps you find key price levels where the market may stop or turn. It doesn't just show old highs and lows. It uses smart math to give each level a score, so you know how strong it might be. In this quick guide, we will explain key features of the indicator, show you how to set it up in TradingView in just a few clicks, watch it live on a chart so you can see how to plan safer buy and sell trades, set stop loss, and take profit. Whether you're new to trading or experienced, this tool will help you trade smarter and with more confidence. Let's jump in and see how it works. First, open Trading View and click on the Indicators tab at the top. Next, type Support and Resistance Logistic Regression in the search box. Look for the one by Flux chart. Click on it, and it will be added to your chart right away. Then, close the search box. One great thing about this tool is that it works on any market, whether you're trading Forex, crypto, or stocks, and on any time frame you want. What does this indicator do? The Logistic Regression Support and Resistance Indicator helps you spot where price might pause, bounce, or reverse. It draws support and resistance levels using smart math, not just past highs and lows. Each level comes with a strength score that shows how likely it is to hold. Let's break down what you might see on your chart once the indicator is added. You'll see horizontal lines on your chart. These are the support and resistance levels the indicator found using smart math. The lines show where price is likely to stop or continues. Next to each line, you might see a number. This is the score, or probability, that the level will hold strong. The higher the number, the stronger the level is likely to be. If price touches one of these lines and bounces off, you'll see an R label. This means the level was retested and held. If price crosses over and closes past the line, you'll see a B label. This means the level was broken. All of this gives you a simple, clear view of where price might pause, bounce, or break, helping you trade with less guesswork. Let's go over the indicator settings. This is the Inputs tab, and everything here changes what you see on your chart. First, there's Pivot Length. This sets how many candles the tool looks at when finding highs and lows. A bigger number means it picks stronger, clearer pivot points. A smaller number finds more frequent but smaller pivots. Next is Target Respects. This tells the indicator how many times price should respect a level before it's marked as strong. A higher number means it looks for levels that held up more often. Then there's Probability Threshold. This sets the minimum strength score for a level to show on your chart. A higher value means you only see levels the tool is more sure about. Hide far lines removes levels that are far from the current price to keep your chart clean. Under Style, you can choose to show prediction labels, retest markers R, and break markers B. You can also adjust the color and thickness of the lines and labels. When you're done, click OK to apply your settings. For a buy trade, here's what to do. First, check that the price is in an uptrend. This means price is generally moving higher, making higher highs and higher lows. Next, look at the indicator's prediction label. Make sure it shows a probability of above 90%. This tells you the level is strong and more likely to hold. Then, wait for the indicator to give a break signal. This means price has broken through the resistance level. Enter your buy trade as price breaks above the signal candle. Set your stop loss just below the break candle. Set your take profit using a 1 to 1.5 risk to reward ratio. As you can see, the trade has closed in profit. Here is another buy trade. We are still using the same trade idea. First, check that the price is in an uptrend. This means price is generally moving higher, making higher highs and higher lows. Next, look at the indicator's prediction label. Make sure it shows a probability of above 90%. This tells you the level is strong and more likely to hold. Then, wait for the indicator to give a break signal. 
This means price has broken through the resistance level. Enter your buy trade as price breaks above the signal candle. Set your stop loss just below the break candle. Set your take profit using a 1 to 1.5 risk to reward ratio. If you let the trade run, you'll see price moving toward your take profit. In this example, the trade moves in our favor and hits take profit. For a sell trade, here's what to do. First, check that the price is in a downtrend. This means price is generally moving lower, making lower highs and lower lows. Next, look at the indicator's prediction label. Make sure it shows a probability of above 90%. This means the level is strong and likely to act as resistance. Then, wait for the indicator to give a break signal. This tells you price has broken through the support level. Enter your sell trade as price breaks below the signal candle. Set your stop loss just above the break candle. Set your take profit using a 1 to 2 risk to reward ratio. If you let the trade run, you'll see price moving toward your take profit. In this example, the trade moves in our favor and hits take profit. For a buy trade, the trade idea remains the same. First, check that the price is in an uptrend. This means price is generally moving higher, making higher highs and higher lows. Next, look at the indicator's prediction label. Make sure it shows a probability of above 90%. This tells you the level is strong and more likely to hold. Then, wait for the indicator to give a break signal. This means price has broken through the resistance level. Enter your buy trade as price breaks above the signal candle. Set your stop loss just below the break candle. Set your take profit using a 1 to 2 risk to reward ratio. As you can see, the trade has closed in profit. For a sell trade, the trade idea remains the same. First, check that the price is in a downtrend. This means price is generally moving lower, making lower highs and lower lows. Next, look at the indicator's prediction label. Make sure it shows a probability of above 90%. This means the level is strong and likely to act as resistance. Then, wait for the indicator to give a break signal. This tells you price has broken through the support level. Enter your sell trade as price breaks below the signal candle. Set your stop loss just above the break candle. Set your take profit using a 1 to 2 risk to reward ratio. If you let the trade run, you'll see price moving toward your take profit. In this example, the trade moves in our favor and hits take profit. Let's switch to the Ethereum chart to look for more trade setup. For a buy trade, the trade idea remains the same. First, check that the price is in an uptrend. This means price is generally moving higher, making higher highs and higher lows. Next, look at the indicator's prediction label. Make sure it shows a probability of above 90%. This tells you the level is strong and more likely to hold. Then, wait for the indicator to give a break signal. This means price has broken through the resistance level. Here we have two breaks, which gives extra confirmation. Enter your buy trade as price breaks above the signal candle. Set your stop loss just below the first break candle. Set your take profit using a 1 to 2 risk to reward ratio. As you can see, the trade has closed in profit. You can also use the indicator to enter good positions on stocks. First, check that the price is in an uptrend. Next, look at the indicator's prediction label. Make sure it shows a probability of above 90%. Then, wait for the indicator to give a break signal. Enter your buy trade as price breaks above the signal candle. Set your stop loss just below the first break candle. Set your take profit using a 1 to 2 risk to reward ratio. As you can see, the trade has closed in profit. And that's the end of this video. The Logistic Regression Support and Resistance Indicator from Flux Charts is a smart tool that helps you find key price levels using data and math, not just old highs and lows. It gives you clear support and resistance lines with probability scores to show how strong they are. You'll also see R labels where price retests a level and B labels where price breaks through. Whether you trade Forex, crypto, or stocks, this tool helps you spot strong levels, plan better trades, and trade with more confidence. 
Thanks for watching and happy trading.